Right. Here we have Don Nolan on Balador. You'll recall Balador is the horse that had the significant problem with a sway or hollow back due to saddle fitting and bidding issues. Here we have Don riding Balador over poles and around cones. What this does is helps Balador to uh, balance better over his haunches and learn how to soften and supple his body. These kinds of exercises will go a long ways toward helping to raise his back and solve the physical problems that he suffered from all these years. Now even though Balador is 18 years old, it's entirely possible and probable that if Don were to work this horse in proper tack with these kind of exercises on a regular basis and mix them up with the kind of half halts and halting that we talk about so that Balador could learn how to go in a correct uh, collected form, then Balador's back could indeed be corrected and he could come up into good functional use and chances are it would add many, many years to his uh, usable soundness. Now we've refit Balador in an Imus 4 beat saddle and pad and in a comfort gait bit. We've also added a have a heart pad over the top of the uh, saddle pad so that there's no bridging going on under the saddle. This is important because if there's bridging under the saddle, then what happens is that there are pressure points at the wither and at the loin, and it'll cause the horse to continue to go hollow, which is the very uh, start of Balador's problem in the first place. We need him to learn how to go off over his haunches, round up and come down properly on the bit. And these kinds of exercises will do it. You'll find that when Balador goes over the poles, He'll begin to look down at them, and as he looks down, he'll lower his head. This, in turn, helps him to raise his back, and as his back is raised, his problem is being addressed in a physical way, a very uh, reasonable and simple physical way. We have hopes that Balador will have many, many more years of useful life if Don will continue to ride him in this manner, and we, and we believe and trust that Don is committed to doing so.